We covered this subject in our first course management series, how to get off the tee box. This is a very vital, vital part of the game. And Justin, for players that can't break 90, uh, this is a huge pivotal part of that reason. So how do we get off the tee box? What are a few pointers that can help everybody out there break 90 with this part of the game alone? Well, the first thing that, that most amateurs do, they say it's a par five. We're here at the second hole at Maroon Creek Club. Uh, it's a par five. I should hit a driver. Not so fast. Uh, we've got bunkers out there uh, that, are, that are staggered. The first bunker on the right is about 210 yards to it. 230 carries it. Uh, and then the second bunker is about 260 yards to it. Now, we don't want to leave ourselves so far back where we turn it into a four-shot hole. But let's take some of the trouble out of play. So uh, most high handicappers hit the ball left to right uh, if they're right-handed. And so um, let's take the far bunker down the left side out of play. Uh, now the right bunker is still going to be in play, but now we've, we've minimized uh, the trouble that's down there that we're trying to negotiate. I'm going to put that driver away and I'm going to take a three wood because I know I cannot get it to the left bunker. Um, and then, because if I play a, a naturally from left to right, I want to tee it up on this right side of the tee box because it gives me more of an angle and helps me aim more down the left side of the fairway, which is where I want to aim. I'm going to tee it up down lower uh, because I want it to feel like it's off the ground, but it's a perfect lie. And from there, I'm going to aim somewhere at the left edge of that bunker, knowing that if by the grace of God I do hit it straight, I'm still going to be okay. Um, so taking the right bunker out of play, um, or taking the left bunker out of play, I'm going to aim at that knowing I'm not going to hit it there and try and fade it back into the middle of the fairway. And just a point on aim, so you're aiming to a very specific target. Instead of just getting up there and saying, okay, fairway, and you just kind of take a look and go, you're really honing in on that target. Right. I think it's important, even on tee shots, to be very specific about where you're trying to go. Um, giving yourself that margin for error. If I'm going to aim at the left edge of the bunker, I know that I, if I'm anywhere within 10 or 15 yards of that, I've built myself some room for error. If I just say I'm going to aim somewhere left, um, my, my, my variance is so great uh, that usually it leads to some inconsistent play. Okay, let's see it. Gonna go right at that left edge of the bunker and play my natural shot, which is left to right. So it ends up going at the middle of the bunker, but I've taken the right club to where I know I'm gonna stay short yeah. of it. And that's a great point. So he did, by the grace of God, hit it dead straight, and he's in the fairway, and that's a really important key. The other thing about Justin does very well uh, with this, and, and many of you don't, is you don't overswing. And so it's really easy to get up there. Maybe you just came off the driving range and you're going for the long drive record and just naturally you get up there and, and maybe you're a little amped, your nerves are going, you need to swing harder. Talk about how you control your speed of your swing. Well, so many times people, especially with driver off the tee, they do swing too hard. And they're trying to hit a ball 260 yards when maybe their, their swing speed, they should try and just hit the ball 230 yards. Uh, and so I don't go at it full bore ever. Um, and so I don't know why an amateur would. So gear back a little bit, maybe swing at more like 70 or 80% and see if you can find a few more fairways. Yeah, and you referenced this in another video, hitting a solid shot, square shot in the center of the club face, a lot of times is gonna go farther anyway. Absolutely, when, when you catch it right on the button, uh, even at 70 or 80%, it's gonna go further and straighter than say you miss it slightly, but you're swinging at 100%. Okay, great advice there. So this might be something to try. If you go play your next round, Try to hit every shot, 75% off the tee, see how that goes. So Justin, thank you, some great tips. Start getting off the tee box.